A sudden brutal attack leaves a man with his jaw wired shut, and the victim now lives in Nashville, Tennessee, where he's found success in music. He tells WWT 6 News' Matthew Smith about what happened. No solid foods. Through a wired shut jaw inside his Nashville studio, musician Dave Brainerd tries his best to speak. Now, some in the heartland will recognize his face. Though he lives in Tennessee these days, he's a Papillion La Vista grad, a former UNO student, and a one-time Air Force band member from his off at Air Force days. I still bleed red. I'm a huge Nebraska fan. While he references his Nebraska days as we talk by phone, make no mistake, it's the incident on this Music Row Street that caught national attention. From Rolling Stones to USA Today, everyone has been asking why these two people, Dustin and Nicole Hargroves, got out of a car and attacked. She was just out in front of the car getting pushed, and she was going, you know, just with her hands in the air going, what are you doing, what are you doing? And they just kept on pumping their brakes. Soon the two were out of their car, and at one point, Brainerd says Dustin Hargrove started attacking him. I tried, I tried to put my hand on his uh, chin and, and, and sort of get a point of leverage. Uh, kind of pointless because he was just overpowering. He got me in chokehold, and, uh, and then I uh, passed out. The Hargroves have since been arrested. Brainerd, ever the optimist, has taken all this in stride. From here at home to his new friends in Tennessee, everyone has reached out to offer support. Luckily, I didn't break my hand, but I can still play guitar. Didn't um, break my creativity, so I can still think and come up with stuff. So it looks like uh, I'm going to heal up pretty good. Even after going through all of that, still, Brainerd, a very nice and pleasant guy to deal with. And John Matter, I got to tell you, he's been in Nashville long enough to actually be nominated for an Emmy. But he stressed to me tonight, even through that wired shut jaw, that he's still a Nebraska boy at heart. Well, we're wishing him a speedy recovery. It's nice of him to take time to talk with us. All right, thank you, Matthew. Well,